represent? Us. 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 You've heard this one before, haven't you? That's right. This represents us. Now, this would actually technically represent Adam and Eve in the garden before they ate the fruit, wouldn't it? Because they're all clean. They're all crystal clear. Ah, but then there was a serpent who did a little tempting. And what do you think that is? That's sin. That's right. That's icky, icky sin. And you know what the problem is? When Adam and Eve ate of that fruit, what do you think it did to them? Corruption. Yeah, they're all full of sin now, aren't they? Well, as sad as God was about all that, he knew that he couldn't leave us in this state forever, could he? There's no way to get clean again. Well, we could offer sacrifices, but we were still just as dirty the minute we were done as we were to start out with. And so God and his son decided to come to earth. And because Jesus' sacrifice, his death and resurrection on that cross, he took on our sins and he made his purity. And it wasn't just ours, but he took on all the sin of the world and cleansed us all. Now, all we have to do is ask for forgiveness. And we can then be made clean all over again. And that's why we sin. Okay? Don't you buy your hands with Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much that you knew what a mess we'd make of our lives and that we would continue to wallow in our sin. But you didn't leave us in that state. You sent us your Son. Thank you for making a way to bring us back into your glory as white as snow.